Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our Estelia playthrough, where well, we've still got a reasonably sized little empire here. Uh, we've just had a small um, punitive expedition into the Badlands, where we ripped apart quite a bit of territory. Basically, we caused a lot of damage, we destroyed a lot of settlements, so they're, they're going to have to regrow from Though Wurzag does look to be heading back our way. But at the same time, we've got quite a good force here. We've also just buffed up our main force quite a bit. Um, with some, some good solid cavalry. Um, abuse people nearby with magical attacks. Some lovely, lovely guns. Obviously, we've got our, our Imperial Guard who managed to survive. Uh, a couple of really solid attack units as well. Um, but mostly an incredibly solid melee defense line and this is level one as they level up they are going to become powerful i do technically have room for one more unit what in here and i'm not sure what i well i, I think i may actually want a war griffin but we'll, we'll have a think um or maybe some grenadoes uh grenaderos uh something or even just an extra melee unit, or an extra cavalry unit, you know, we've got plenty of options. Or a Templar. We've got a Priestess, how about a Templar instead? Um, sorry, what are the other buildings I want to actually start building here? Hmm. There we go. Do I think I'm going to leave everything else now? I'm going to actually keep the spare for that. Quite an odd position. Um, extra range to start with. Yes, General. Yeah, there we go. Show me the accused. Onwards. We are just keeping an eye up here. Especially as Scraggy, who was trying to bring on side, has gone to war with me again. We will see. What I'm really worried about is when the end times happen, though technically I've got a good position to fall back the into. Talk is over. Well, when Make the end sure game crisis happens. Oh no, not Scarce. I mean, I say that, he is annoyingly close. The Orcs seem to be doing quite well in a few of my, my recent playthroughs, so... I'm a little worried. Not too worried, but we're a little concerned. Hmm. away it will be an honor off we go yeah, let's follow along what you are direct me much how should we proceed there we go closing in on Wurzag from multiple directions Ready. Oh, damn it, my percentage chance is too low. Is that where heretics lurk? There we go, By let's try and level up a bit. <clears throat> Raphael, you can go have some fun. I'll no. try to. Now. Specialist, there we go. So increasing his chances of being successful. Oh, and they're pushing too. So we've got a fair little invasion back against us now after our punitive expedition. 
To be fair, the being Breathing hit by people who weren't really affected by my punitive expedition. Oh, if they actually, um... I mean, yeah, we're, we're gonna accept that, but I want some more money off you first. I will have a full defensive alliance there. That's good. That gives me a lot more defense, which is obviously good, and hopefully they'll start building a uh, outpost somewhere useful. I'm just gonna auto that, because I'm guaranteed to kill them all that way. Good. Oh, Wurzag came across the sea to attack me. And then got his ass kicked. To be fair, he... I mean, he could have just... Just underweighed back. Nice. Right. Your orders, sir. Priestess of the Lady. I'm trying to work out what's the best to get them. They are very good. They have really good range and really good damage. I mean, that's not bad. But compared to the damage these guys do, and how much is armor piercing? Yeah. Yes. Hmm. It's working out how to tweak this army for that last position. The lady is with you. I'm not sure my regiments of renown are working, but um, oddly. The lady wins it. Onwards, the empire. Yes, Graf. Move. I have seen your heart. For now, I'm the just going to keep pushing. You know, I say that I am. I am going to grab myself a unit of dragoons in. Now I've moved them so far away that it's going to take me a pain in the ass amount of time to do it. Oh, I can pull them out of this army. They will be judged. Fine, we're just um, scouting. So there we go. That was a nice amount of XP. Uh, Pyldorf is probably where I want to go. Or Steingart. There we go. Getting an outpost going. So I assume they already have one in Pyldorf. Um. So Matorka and Karak and Gazar are going to be, you know, basically we're going to push up through the mountains there and try and deal with all of that. Um, and then potentially start clearing down through the Badlands, but I do I need to be to very aware me. that things are going was. to go fun at some point soon. <clears throat> I say that I maybe don't want to make too good friends with them, but... Well, we'll see what happens when the end game happens. Vladdy, 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 I see you there. Oh yeah, I should be doing this through my end turns. Please do like and subscribe, all that jazz. Pop a comment down below, blah, blah, blah. I see 
I'm terrible at remembering to say that. Your behest, making my way. The lady leads me. Yes, General. Yes. Aggressively forward. If that's what the Emperor commands. Right. So. Let's strip them out. I want a couple more of the. Oh. Okay. So one cannon, keeping them in, so we've got a decent amount of range. In fact, I've got plenty of range there. Hmm. So I'm trying to work out what to do, and I'm confusing myself. I refuse such orders. Alas, no, not even if ordered. Let us move. Yeah, let's let's move a unit of these guys in. Because while they're not frontline troops, having them in the center would be quite good because they'll break things up. They can sit back a bit. Um, we'll see how that goes, and you are going to head back here to rebuild. In fact, I'm just straight up scout ripping out half of this army. By the comet, direct me. You know what? I am gonna put some into training. It will be an honor. Ah, thirty-five meters. It's not huge, but it's still good. Damsel. And then we are gonna start pushing Ooh, too. War. Seek out the heretics. No heretics Just trying to keep poking things to up my level so I can do stuff I better. No man. This is just about leveling him yes. up more than anything. Um... Hmm. Anything which provides a bit more garrison is good, though. Yeah, let's grab that to get them. Because I think they are meant to be good. Though we shall see what we shall see. So we are moving north with two forces, which guarantees something's going to pull me back south. Though so we're rebuilding up the other force, and yeah, I'm planning on actually moving one force to move into Karakazon, or Karak, um, Karak, Karakizor, uh, into the vaults permanently, just to provide a defensive position there. Um, my land admiral. Is gonna go. One of my land admirals is gonna go there for the time being because we're gonna get elven incursions early on. I hope you'll... Nope. How should we proceed? All right, I want you, Mr. Agent, to yes, start heading down this way. Now. Heretics. They will die. March! Oh, I can't quite get, get there. Get! Slay him! Ah, 
Oh yeah, here I want to make sure I've leveled up a bit more. I do like Law of Metal. In fact, I might get a Law of Metal wizard out if I can for my other army. tricky whether or not to dump that off or not. Oh, he looks glorious. Of course. Yes, son of Sigma. So yeah, it's effectively a warrior priest, but that's quite cool. I'm not using that, so I'm going to drop it. They're useful, but that said, what I'll do is before I drop it, I'll try and... I just don't trust I'm not going to use to lose that settlement again. Here we go. Scraggy is trying to get around us and make landfall. Uh, we'll deal with him. Arms. Is it Let war? me guess, you're declaring war on me. I think I might need to build up my other fleet quite quickly just to get on, get on this coastline. And I probably can just about afford to build another one, but I don't want to go nuts. Though this campaign could provide lots of income. So we'll see how it goes. Again, we'll probably end up taking some losses when we do eventually have the end game happen. I, I really, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm probably going to try and force Scrag into a peace treaty again. A peace treaty and non-aggression pact, because actually, having him there defensively is useful. Yes, no one tells a tyrant what to do! I have foreseen their death. You should How should we proceed? The lady called. Let's take it. Oh. Is it time to kill it? Oh, more. Oh, we hate it so. Hmm. This is a tricky one. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, Call of the Wild, the Great War. Da, 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 da. Yep. Okay, we are piecing. Because the they're going to end up dead anyway, so. <laughs> Ready? If that's what the Emperor commands. Yes, General. It is what time is to fall back, you. Direct me. Yes, my lord. And get straight into here. What do you require? Well, we are going to start recruiting. I need an army in I'm going to need an army in tomorrow as well. Done. A time to heal. Right. Sir. Next turn we will start recruiting. But that it's about to get fun. 
I am saving money for recruitment. You have a proposal? The M. Who calls? What? Be at peace, for that is all I ever want. Sigma's will. There we go. Ready. Is it time? Yes, you can we have this now. Here, that we're gonna go full what defensive for this wisdom? point in time. Volkmar. Never kept it. I'm going to pay you for friendship. There we go. No, I am not spending money, but I want your garrisons. They will be judged. I need your garrisons. Somebody please build a garrison in Tabaro. Tabaro and Miraglano, though they probably go for my capital first. So we've peace Scraggy, which is good. Oh, Scraggy is actually at war with the Orcs. Okay, so that's potentially useful. He isn't going to last long. That's the problem. If this is going to be... I need to work out where to actually hold. Because the first thing we need to deal with is the Skaven. Uh, the Skaven are going to be the initial threat. And once I've dealt with them, it's probably going to be... It's going to be a mix of Orcs and Elves. Though I'm hoping Bretonia will take the brunt of the Elves. And... Obviously, there's other orcs here who will also get, so they'll have a good, good tussle. I go hence. Pick up the pace. Right. Got enough ranged in there. Oh, why am I using global? Recruiting a new admiral. Ooh, no, I'm getting him. Discipline is. While well, he's not an admiral, discipline is spectacular. Uh, we, we're using global for this one. Start off like that. There we go. Yes, General. Do I send him here? I think, yeah, he goes into Karakaisor for the time being. Is it time? There we go. The nation calls. I am not building outposts. No, my witch hunter has been wounded. It's fine, he'll be back. Basically, we have, have ten proposal? turns until all hell Nowhere goes loose. It. Yes, I will take a full military alliance. Because literally, all hell is going to go loose.
thankfully, actually, Scarbrand is probably going to be quite useful here. And I'm fairly sure I left Diplomacy on with Endgame Crises, so we'll see what happens. Unfortunately, Kemri is going to get the uh, armies. Effectively, I have to hold. Age of Rage. Ooh. Direct me. At once, sir. So be it. So, it is time. No, they don't buff the other ones, so that's fine. So they, with their physical resistance to everything, is ah, oh, Thunder Armor, even. What? Mm, it's not necessarily bad. Though this guy is already disciplined, which is actually yes, lovely. It will be an honor. Taboro is probably going to be one of our biggest threats. Are oh, you sodding git? So my main lord's going to turn around to deal with Scar the Scary brand coming at me. Um. Basically, um, Skaven Blight isn't going to be holdable. I'm not going to, don't think I'm going to bother leaving an army in Skaven Blight. Um, it's going to basically be a distraction to kill as many as we can. I love the way I'm panicking to position things over the next 10 turns, whereas the rest of the world is like, eh, we don't care. What will happen is what will happen. You have a proposal? We are willing to hear it. I mean, I may as well. You'll break it soon. I love the fact there's going to eventually be one for every faction. I like the way they did discuss, and it's something which I hope they do put in, is the idea that you can have it so that you have one endgame crisis and then 50, you know, then... Not when it's necessarily completed, but you you know, they, they stack. So they happen one after the other, after the other, after the other. So slowly throughout, you get multiple endgame crises happening. It's almost good if they scaled as well, so each one was harder. Could that be modded? But basically, so each endgame crisis happens, you know, and then you could actually have one early on, which was really easy. How should we proceed? My magic is yours. Moving. Scarbrand, just sod off. Your orders? Devotee of the lady, what would you have of me? Direct me. Now? Is it time? Sir. Uh, nope, not gonna bother. So? There we go. I 
that <clears throat> comment. You know what? I'm gonna save. I want to fight it, but it's also the end of a session. Yeah, we're, we're gonna fight this. We'll have a bit of a longer one today. Um, 30 minutes is a rough guide, is what I use it as, but it feels like a nice battle, especially as I've not fought to battle this one, I don't think. And this is our new model army. Uh, halberds and great swords and powder and fire and flame. <laughs> Your behest? Right, so first thing first, these guys can get spread out. Now, the only danger here is we are quite tired. By Ulrich's breath, we are Sigmar's heirs! For the twin tailed comet! Free company! Understood! Militia! Free company! Militia! Right! Free company! Great swords! Hell Blaster! Uh, Free company. Yeah, gonna plot them there. Yes. State troops ready. Right, Scott. Oh, I like them. Let's have a look at these units as well. I like these guys. You don't even know what they look like. They're fairly generic great swords. Yeah. For my lady. Formation, march. Oh yes, that's perfect. These guys are okay. That's absolutely beautiful. These guys are uh, Parthian shot. Parthian shot and can fire while moving. I'm going to be getting many more of them into my armies. General! Quick march! Show us the foe! In the name of the twin tailed comet! Quick march! At once! At speed! Militia! Oops. We are ready! Hell Blaster Volley Gun! For it. Now. Shoot him! At speed! I serve the lady. Grant me your wisdom! Not ideal for them to be taking that. To be fair, I should have put some of them in the center. Counter charge time. Oh, that's that that's actually a bit worrying. Oh, Scarbrand is taking quite a bit of bit of pound of pounding there. Tell me they have charge reflect. Yes. My goal, Maraz. Please, death of the lady. For the emperor, Sigma calls. Right, pause. Let's get my mage doing his stuff. 
I say, there's not really many places I can, it's worth me actually doing his stuff. I guess along the front here. Free company! I mean, there's barely any points. Scarbrand is about to go down already. For the Warhammer! Counter charge there. For the Warhammer! Free company! Outriders! Shalia protects us! Free company! We serve the Emperor! Your command! Yep, on to that, please. Sigma guides us! All ranks, fire! Attack! You guys can charge in there. Ah, so a lot of these don't have the um, thingy formation option. Are yours. We are you guys can slam into the back of here. <clears throat> we are Sigma's heirs! Sigma, preserve No, us. no, no, no! Okay, I'm potentially losing a Please unit. Of the lady. They're good, but I maybe overexposed them a bit too much, so... Free company! For the twin-tailed comet! For the twin-tailed comet! We obey! Militia! For the Emperor! Free company! Throwing an AM is sober. So I lost one unit of my great swords, possibly because I over I overdid it. Oh no, I've not actually lost them. Oh, they've still got a unit alive. For now. Because it was a uh, had to kill all of them. There we go. Anyway, we will end this one here then, guys. So as always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you are enjoying this playthrough. If you are, please do like and subscribe. And as always, an extra special thank you to our channel members and patrons. That is Monsters Abound. Philip F. Oh, I should put that up. Uh, Nose Nose, Andrew T, Prataru, Brandon, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason Air, Egg, and Jared Horn. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Cheers all.